Bill Nye the Science Guy was back in the spotlight Tuesday debating one of the oldest and most controversial questions there is. Where did we all come from? At the Creation Museum in Petersburg, Kentucky, the former kids TV show host debated all the age-old questions with the founder of the museum, Ken Ham. There, there actually is a book out there that actually tells us where matter came from. The very first sentence in that book says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The question I have for you though, fundamentally, for, and for everybody watching, Mr. Ham, what can you prove? Ken Ham's beliefs align with the Bible and the idea of creationism, which says all life was created by God. Bill Nye, the science guy, is obviously pushing the concept of evolution. But the debate between these two started long before they took the stage in Kentucky. In 2012, Bill Nye starred in a Big Think video that currently has more than 6 million views where he urges parents who believe in creationism to not pass it on to their kids. And, as you might imagine, the response to his video was quick. Ham responded to Nye's popular video in a matter of days. Along with dismissing Nye's claim, he also said, In fact, Bill Nye really doesn't understand science. I mean, Bill Nye himself actually is not a scientist. He studied mechanical engineering. And so the debate idea was born. It was announced in early January and was actually met with some backlash for the science guy. The National Center for Science Education told CBS News it finds such debates counterproductive. For a scientist to engage in a formal onstage debate with a creationist is to legitimize the creationist position. But Nye argues any publicity is good publicity. And I think that uh, just to call attention to this belief system has uh, value. The guy challenged me to a duel. What am I going to do? As for the winner or loser of the debate, it's hard to say who came out on top. But one observer believes the more important fact is that the debate happened in the first place. The debate proved that people can come together and have a respectful conversation about something that people are very passionate about. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.